What's up, y'all? It's Camacho back again with a new episode. And today I am going to show you how to mine your own cryptocurrency tokens. I'm going to show you how to deploy a new token. I'm going to show you how to uh, mint tokens that may already exist all right from your very own computer. What am I talking about here today, guys? I am talking about Proof of Work 20, POW 20, the new protocol for layer one tokens backed by Proof of Work which will let you literally deploy your own token. It will let you mint tokens that already exist and it will let you mine tokens right from your own computer using this fancy command prompt right here. So let's jump right into it. So first of all, what is Proof of Work 20? Well, if you go to proofofwork20.io, POW20.io, you will come to this fancy little interface right here. It says POW-20 protocol, layer one tokens backed by Proof of Work POW type commands in the terminal. So it actually gives you a terminal here that you can work with and don't don't sweat it. It's not that actually hard that, that it is to use. Let's jump into how hard this actually is to use and I'll show you it's actually quite easy to do this all on your own. So what do you need first of all to get this started? Well, first, let's jump over to the Twitter, Twitter account, right? Proof of 20 uh, is, you know, it's a relatively new protocol. You can click on this gitbookprotocol.po20.io and you'll get this right here, introduction of how it works. Let's read this really quickly and let's go through what this actually is. But by the end of this video, you should be able to one, deploy your own token. You should be able to mine tokens and you should be able to uh, 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 mint tokens that exist all across layer one blockchains. We're talking about BTC, we're talking about LTC, we're talking about Dodge, we're talking about BCH, we're talking about BSV. We're talking about them all. This is very interesting stuff. So let's just jump into this explanation right here. What is the POW20 protocol? So POW20 protocol is an extension of BRC20 protocol, that, and it, which is an ordinals protocol, right? Which we've talked about in previous videos. And it introduces and requires proof of work to mint and produce new tokens across these layer one blockchains. Very cool stuff, right? So in the introduction, it says proof of work is the backbone of Bitcoin, BTC, and other POW chains like Litecoin, Dodge, Bitcoin Cash, BSV, so forth and so on. However, derivative assets, tokens, and NFTs like BRC20 that run on these base layers have traditionally been issued or distributed through means other than POW, right? While Atomicals recently enabled a version of POW token mining, it does so at a cost, namely understandability for the average person and the learning curve to get started. It's often been very technical to do any of this, right? To launch your own token, to mine tokens, to mint tokens. It's been relatively technical and you have to kind of know what you're doing from a developer standpoint. And if you're not a developer, it's been very difficult to do this. Not anymore. This is now very easy to do using this new POW20 protocol. This is huge, right? Um, so let's get, keep going into this. Um, it says, uh, through the means of POW. Well, Atomical has recently enabled a version of POW token mining it does so at a cost, namely understandability for the average person and learning curve to get started. It's fairly complex if you're not a dev. They're talking about atomicals here. It has also introduced challenges for exchanges and indexer, indexers that may wish to implement them. What is needed is something simple that extends what we already have with BRC20 ordinals, making it easy for users, exchanges, and indexers to get started or implement with a few lines of code. The protocol is straightforward and should look familiar. So this is very, very easy to use. This is a game changer. You don't need to be a dev. You need to know a little bit about, uh, you know, about uh, how, how wallets work, connecting wallets and how to use a command prompt, which I'm going to show you in this video, but it's really not that hard. So it gives functions, right? To deploy a new token. This is essentially the, uh, the, uh, the, the, the code that it will use to do that, right? And to mint a token, again, this is the code that it will be to use to do that. And it goes through transferring, it goes through examples of how, how to do this and what this actually looks like. We're not gonna go through any of this right now. I'm just gonna show you quickly how to actually do this, okay? So first, you're gonna need a wallet. You're gonna need either a Unisat wallet or you're going to need a yours.org wallet. The Unisat wallet is for BRC20 that works with uh, BTC and the yours wallet is for BSV or BSV20 which works with that protocol, right? So if you want to download a yours wallet, you could go to yours.org. You could check out here what's going on yours.org. Go to the yours wallet. Just go to Google, type in yours uh, wallet, and this will pop up. It's a Chrome extension, which is actually a cryptocurrency wallet. It will hold your BSV and you can download it. Or sorry, you don't even download it. You just add it to Chrome very easily. Make sure to back up your 12 word key phrase. 
Uh, but you can get that wallet installed very, very quickly, right? A non-custodial, an open source wallet for BSV and one sat ordinals, right? So ordinals wallet for BSV. If you want to do this for Unisat, do the same thing. You would just go to Google, type in Unisat, uh, Unisat wallet, Chrome plugin, and it will do the exact same thing. You could download the Unisat wallet from Chrome. You could download it, you know, if you want a desktop version of this, you could do the same thing. But you'll download this Unisat wallet um, again from, or sorry, you won't even download it. You'll just add it to Chrome as an extension. Inscribe and store your inscriptions in the world's first open source Chrome wallet for ordinals, right? So this, you know, I've used for on the Unisat website to do inscriptions and so forth like that. Uh, but now you can use this in the POW20 uh, protocol to actually mine, deploy, and mint tokens on the BRC20 protocol uh, using ordinals, right? So once you have a wallet downloaded, then go back to this command prompt right here, right? This command prompt is POW-20. Uh, well, what's the website? It's POW20.io, right? You can look at that right up here, POW20.io, okay? And then go here. For a full list of commands, you literally click in this command prompt over here. You type in commands, and then you'll get a full list of commands that come, right? First, obviously, and foremost, you're going to need to connect your wallet. So we'll do that first. But then here's all the core operations, deploying a new token, mining a new token, showing your token balances, claiming your unclaimed mints and tokens, and settings to update your uh, your settings and so forth, right? And then it'll give you a list of tools that you can use to actually make this a lot simpler for yourself. Commands, if you just type in commands like I just did, it will come up with all these commands that, I just, that I'm showing you right now. If you type in address, it'll show you the address that you're connected to. You could clear the terminal. You can get a price of the main chain that you're uh, you're working with, whether BTC or BSV or another chain, and then a guide um, or a tutorial of how to actually use this stuff. So it's pretty pretty basic, right? So let's go ahead and first let's go ahead and connect one of our wallets. I'm going to say connect. Just type in connect, and it will actually give you the example. Example connect wallet equals Unisat. All right. So let's go connect. Uh, wallet, I'm going to connect to the Panda wallet. That's the yours wallet. They recently changed their name. So I'm going to go connect wallet Panda and it's connecting my wallet. See, it's going to unlock my wallet. You need to put in your password and then you need to unlock that wallet and it will unlock here in just a moment. It's reconnecting my wallet. Oh, there it goes. It showed up connected to BSV Panda wallet. I just did this because it's easier to show right now. I also have a Unisat BTC wallet, which I could show you again in a minute, right? So we are ready to go. It's showing my address. It's showing that I'm connected to the wallet. Now, what can we do actually, right? If we, if we type in mine, it's going to show us existing tokens that we can mine. So I'm just going to type in mine. Now, here's all the different tokens that people have already deployed, which you can mine right now. You can mine and get it going immediately. And it's free to use. It's completely free. So here's some of the, the, the ones that have already been mined. Dotty. I actually mined several uh, Dotty already. This mint has been completed. It was the very first one. Um, it's 100% completed. If you look up here, it'll show the ticker that you want to mine, the actual token that you're going to mine or mint, sorry, that you're going to mine and mint at the same, uh, same time, basically same thing. And it's going to show the supply of that. It's going to show the reward for mining it. It's going to show the difficulty level, which is the difficulty of actual mining, which is based on some complex math formula of how to um, actually make it fair for folks to um, to actually mine this stuff fairly across you know many people trying to mine at the same time. And then it'll show you the percentage mined of all these different tokens, right? So a lot of them have been mined out quite a bit. Some of them are still you know just starting to be mined. This is a relatively new protocol. So let's go ahead and just show how this works very, very quickly. And I'm not going to mine for very long, but I want to show you how it works. In the example up here, it says mine ticker equals, and then you put in the ticker name itself. So let's go ahead and mine butt. Let's mine the butt token right here. Somebody made a, a butt token. Actually, yeah, yeah, let's mine that one, okay? So mine, and then, whoops, mine uh, ticker equals, <laughs> equals butt. And as you can see, it says gathering contract details for Add more mining capability um, if you, I believe you pay a cost and then it'll give you multiple kind of uh, mining uh, capabilities all at the same time. Like if, as if you're using multiple GPUs at the same time um, or multiple CPUs at the same time, I believe something like that. And so right now I'm actively mining, but so what a funny, what a funny kind of shit coin or meme coin to be mining, but I'm just showing you how this works, right? So you can see these hashes going crazy, right? So it's actually going through the different hashes and trying to mine out 
these different uh, th these different um, uh, rewards out of these different uh, hashes, right? So right now we have a supply of 6,900 uh, 6, at a difficulty level of two. The reward is only 69, right? Only 1.67 has been, has been mined so far. And it's going to count up the number of hashes that I'm going through in this particular session and how many are remaining in the supply. And so we'll actively be able to mine this token. But if we kept this going, we're doing this all from our very own computer for free. Very, very easy to use, right? I'm going to stop this operation because I want to show you a few other functionalities. So you just press escape and it stops it, right? Mining has stopped, goes back to the terminal. I'm going to type in commands and you get another, again, another list of these commands, right? So I'm going to now say uh, tokens. I don't know if I have any token balances um, on here. Well, I'm actually not going to show tokens on this video at the moment, but uh, let's say deploy. So if we want to deploy a new token, we'd, put, we'd type in deploy. And it would come up, oh, and it would say, okay, you are now in deploy mode. Press escape if you want to exit. So enter your ticker. I'm going to say, I'm going to say Grok. Let's mine, uh, let's deploy Grok. It may already be mined, right? Um, it may already be deployed, but oh, Grok is there. Okay, so let's say 21 million. Six zeros after that, I think, right? That's 21 million. Yep, click enter. Max decimals, I'll say, uh, let's say 15. And it determines the difficulty. Now, let's how, how do we how do we set the difficulty? Let's set the difficulty for um, let's say let's say two. We'll make it a fairly easy difficulty. All right. Enter the Coinbase reward for each valid mint. Let's just say um, let's say a thousand. You're going to get a thousand Grok coins if you mine these successfully. Right? There's a thousand. Now we need to upload our token image. So we go to upload. It's going to open up a little window so you can do the upload here. I'm going to select something that I already have. It's uploading that. Now I'm going to enter my password again for this particular wallet that I'm showing you to demo. And then I don't have a whole lot in here. I'm going to approve it. And let's see what happens here. Now it's waiting to inscribe. Oh, I put in the wrong password there. Sorry about that. Let's try that one more time. Approve. And it should, if I have enough BSV in there, it should allow me to, to, um, to do this uh, inscription. Transaction successful. Perfect. All right. Grok. Max supply 21 million. Decimals 15. Difficulty 2. Reward 1,000. Here's my icon. Enter deploy to deploy the new POW contract. I'm going to do that. I'm going to say deploy. Enter. Posting order. Awaiting payment. All right, again, it's a very small amount that it's asking me to pay. Let's pay that. I hope I have enough in that wallet. I don't know if I actually do, but we'll see. I only got like five bucks in there, so we'll see what happens. But uh, hopefully I do so that I can deploy this. All right, approved. Oh, no, it says there was an error. Okay, deploying contract. My guess is, is that it may have been uh, an error because I think Grok already exists. And, uh, you know, you probably can't already deploy it. It did say that it checked it, but uh, it looks like it may not have worked. But but it may have. We'll, we'll check that in a minute, okay? Let's say mine. Whoops. Mine. All these different tokens. Degen. Yeah, okay. So um, I think either, I, I don't know what happened exactly there, but but you get the idea of how it works, right? Let's type in commands again. And then, uh, so you could, you could do all this. You could deploy. You could mine. Um, you could claim. I don't think I have anything to claim, but let's say claim. Claiming is not necessary for BSV as tokens are all automatically issued via smart contract. Okay, so let's do this on the Unisat wallet. Let's say disconnect. Well, it disconnected. And we'll say connect. And we'll say connect wallet equals Unisat. I think I have a... Okay, perfect. So I'm connected to my Unisat wallet. Let's type in claim. All right, so claim. I, I don't have any mints that I've done on the Unisat wallet right now, so it's actually not going to let me no mints to claim, go forth and mine. It's not actually going to let me claim these because I don't actually have anything to claim, but if you did, it would let you do this on here again, right? Um, so that, that's the idea, right? So let me go back to commands again. So here we go, commands again. So it's relatively straightforward, right? That did not take too much time. That was very easy to do. Now I want to actually go real quick and show you their Twitter. If you go to Twitter, again, it's you know Pow20IO is their Twitter account. You can go through and check out the protocol, check out everything you want to do. But I found this fascinating that you could do this literally from your very own computer very, very easily. 
um, with very little technical expertise at all. And it works quite seamlessly, right? So hope you found that interesting. I hope you found that uh, very easy to use. Uh, I'm Dan again, Crypto Camacho. Hope you found that useful. Let me know in the comments what you think of this. Let me know if you're going to use it. But until next time, enjoy. See ya.